Welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a few minutes and talk about text manipulation in Linux. Um, and why is this something that you might care about? Well, if you've ever uh, had to troubleshoot something and you've got, you know, a big long log file, something with a ton of entries that maybe doesn't make a lot of sense, um, you might want to know how to get the information that you're looking for out of that log. Um, and you can use this for a bunch of different purposes, but I'm, I'm going to explore it in the context of logging. So here I am uh, playing around with a ROS project, a robot operating system project, and I've logged out a start um, that I want to be able to extract some information from. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, one of the most basic commands. So we're going to, we've catted it out. So cat is going to basically read the file. And then we're going to do a pipe. And what pipe does is it's going to pass the contents to the left of the pipe to the command to the right of the pipe. So basically we're saying, hey, I want the output, this cat output, and I would like it to pipe into the things to the right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grep and grep is basically a text search and we're going to grep for the word error. So that's one of the most common things you might want to do is find out, you know, where are there errors? Um, where, you know, does the word fatal appear anywhere? Well, no, it doesn't. So let's go back to error. Um, You'll notice if we change lowercase error to capital error, we get a different set of errors, which might not be what you want. So let's go ahead and we're going to do a dash I. So grep dash I error is going to give you a case insensitive grep. So now we're getting everything that was an error. We're getting my no name given for the robot. We're getting some move it errors. Um, we're getting anything that might have something to do with the word error. So that's pretty cool. Um, but what if we wanted to get a specific uh, column out of this data? So one of the easiest ways to do that is with awk. So awk is, and there are many things you can do with this, but uh, I'm going to start with just kind of how I end up most commonly using it, and that's extracting rows. So let's say, uh, actually, I'm going to use something with a little bit more data. Let's assume that we want to grab these raw position commands. So I'm going to, instead of grepping for error, I'm going to put in double quotes, raw position commands, and go pull all of the raw position commands. Um, so we can do some interesting things. Let's say I wanted to grab every single raw position command that started with shoulder. So I'm going to up arrow and grab that command again. I'm going to put another pipe and then I'm going to use awk. So that's awk, single quote, open curly brace, print, and then we're going to print the, it's going to be dollar followed by the number of the row that you want to print. So just to kind of show you what's going on here, um, I'm going to print dollar one, and it should grab Ross Control Node two. Now, obviously, that's not terribly useful. So we're going to back off. We're going to get everything, and then we're going to count from the left to get over to base. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's probably going to split on spaces, so these all count as individual columns, and then eight. So let's see if I'm right. Let's uh, do eight, and we've got base. If you wanted to grab more than one, you could do dollar eight, dollar nine, dollar ten, and now we're getting um, those, you know, base, shoulder, and elbow. So we can basically grab every single uh, base, shoulder, and elbow joint that I sent and logged out for my robot. So. Let's, uh, let's play with this a little bit more. Let's see if we wanted to, let's say we wanted to uh, see how many of these entries we sent. Well, I'm gonna go back to eight. It'll work with more than one, but let's just play with base for a moment. So I'm gonna do another pipe 
And then if I found, wanted to know how many of these there are, I can do a WC. So WC is going to give you a count. Uh, dash L is going to give us the actual number. There are 112 lines in this list. That is what WC dash L is telling us. Um, but what if we wanted to know how many unique commands were sent to the robot? Like, do we know if we're sending all the same base commands over and over? Are they all different? Um, let's go ahead and instead of WC-L, I'm going to pass this into a sort. And sort is going to um, basically sort them A to Z. And then obviously when there are numbers, it's going to sort them into numbers. Um, and then we're going to do another pipe. And we're going to get unique UNIQ. And that should filter down to unique values. And if you do unique dash C, then we're going to get a count. So in this scenario, we can see that most things only appear once. And obviously these are very, very small incremental numbers. So it's not super surprising that they only appear once, um, but we can also see that this was sent uh, 14 times in this scenario. Um, let's play with this just a little bit more. And this probably isn't something you'd want to do, but let's get rid of your sort and your unique. All right, we've got uh, just our base equals. But what if you just wanted the raw numbers? You wanted the raw numbers and you wanted to be able to feed them into some other program. Well, this is where being able to manipulate uh, and, and actually cut out some of the text is going to be useful. So I'm going to do another pipe. And then um, I'm going to do a sed command. So sed is going to let us do a uh, string replace here. And I'm going to do base equals and a second um, forward slash. So it's s, the syntax is s, followed by a delimiter. And this delimiter can be many things. Um, I'm using forward slash this here. That's kind of a default. You can also use pipes, um, the, the pipe symbol here as a delimiter, but I'm going to do my S forward slash base equals. And then the second one, I'm just leaving blank because what I want it to do is get rid of base. Um, and I'm going to put G and then close single quote. And if my syntax is right, then that gets rid of base. Now, just to show you, if you wanted to do a, a string replace with something other than blank, um, I'm going to replace this with 555. And now we have a bunch of 555s, but that's not what we want. We want blank. Um, and then if I wanted to get rid of that comma, I could do the same thing. So S forward slash comma forward slash, and then give it another blank. And then I'm going to end with a G. And I now have a list of only numbers. Um, and then finally, if I wanted to send that to a file, maybe to use it later, uh, I'm just going to do a, a right arrow there to send a file. And I'm going to say raw position commands .txt. And now I have a raw position commands .txt that is just my raw base commands from the log file uh, filtered out into just the data that I was interested in. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Um, I will drop the end command stream I used uh, in the video description if, uh, if you don't feel like typing all that out. Although I would encourage you to play around with it, uh, grab a text file of your own, figure out how to extract some data, manipulate things. This is an incredibly useful skill set. Anytime you're working with a uh, Linux system in any capacity, uh, it's useful for robots, it's useful for AI. Um, just being able to play with and work with files and data and uh, manipulate those things on the fly is really, really helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, if you are interested in tech, robots, AI, Python, um, any of the fun stuff, hit subscribe. You will continue to see videos from me on those topics. 
And uh, yeah, until later. <laughs>